In 1977, the Big Ear Radio Observatory in Ohio scanned the cosmos for signs of extraterrestrial life. Scientists monitored the 1420 megahertz frequency, hydrogen's emission line, a universal beacon. The quiet hum of analog equipment filled the dim control room as data streamed onto paper printouts. This was SETI's tireless vigil, listening for a whisper in the cosmic silence. Then, a spike disrupted the routine. On August 15, 1977, the Big Ear detected a 72-second burst at 1420 MHz, 30 times louder than cosmic noise. Astronomer Jerry Eman circled the alphanumeric sequence 6EQUJ5 in red, scribbling WOW in the margin. The signal's narrowband pattern matched expectations for artificial transmission. The telescope had been pointed at Sagittarius, near the star group Chi Sagittarii, but as quickly as it appeared, the signal vanished. Scientists scrambled to recheck the data. Had they intercepted an alien broadcast? The big ear scanned the same coordinates for months. Silence. Theories erupted. A natural anomaly, military experiment, or humanity's first contact. In 2016, researcher Antonio Paris proposed comets 266P slash Christensen and 335P Gibbs, surrounded by hydrogen clouds, as the source. Observations later confirmed comet emissions at 1420 MHz, yet debates persist. The WOW signal remains iconic, a 72-second tease of cosmic possibility. While comets explain its origin, the dream of contact endures. SETI's Allen Telescope Array now scans 24-7 and Breakthrough Listen analyzes petabytes of data. With billions of galaxies, the math favors life elsewhere. But for now, the universe keeps its secrets. As Emin reflected, we should have seen it again if it was real. The silence lingers.